Hey guys, welcome to episode 1 of season 2 of the Roma Corona, in which you've read the title off now correctly. We have signed Lionel Messi, the GOAT, from uh, Inter Miami on a pre contract deal. They weren't going to renew his contract for whatever reasons, we managed to bring him in for free. I think he's still 90 rated, which is absolutely incredible for him. And uh, as you can see, the way the team is going to line up with him in it is Messi's going to play the right wing, we're going to put him on a common short objective, so him and Dybala basically play as two camps together. Which does kind of leave the defensive side of the team went a bit off having Messi and Zaleski into the team because he's Spinozola was a left mid originally and he obviously is a left wing back so he does more defending than attacking most of the time but obviously Zaleski does come back and defend now and again so I do trust him to do a good job there and we are going to replace Cristante this season which means I'm actually going to drop Luka Modric on the bench because obviously we have Bove for the midfield into attacking wise and we have Cristante but obviously we aren't going to put um, him down there somewhere maybe for a reason we'll put Modric there and we are going to sign a new CDM and I uh, mentioned that in the last video and um, you guys said that we should sign uh, João Parinha from Fulham so that is what we are going to do the 84 rated uh, Portuguese centre back centre back uh, CDM sorry you probably could play centre back but as you can see they're worth 44 million you probably could get him for a little bit cheaper than that but I'm just going to go in with however much they want to sell him for and his stats are absolutely incredible so as a CDM in this team, is going to be a very, very good player for us. Obviously, link it up with Ronaldo, two Portuguese players uh, working together. So let's make the signing happen and, um, yeah, get into the first game of the season. Okay, so obviously in last season, we won the Europa League, which means we are in the European Super Cup, or the UEFA Super Cup, and we're taking on PSG, who won the Champions League. And that PSG team is kind of terrifying. You've got Mbappe, Harry Kane, Vitinha, Fabian Ruiz, Benas, Nuna Menj, Danilo Pereira, uh, Marquinhos, Danilo, Hakimi, and Donnarumma in goal. So obviously Messi is making this competitive debut for Roma up against his former team, which is kind of a weird coincidence when you think about it. But let's get into this one and hopefully start the season off with a, a Super Cup win, which would be amazing. So let's get into this and hopefully win this game. You know, we'll give him a chance to prove himself start of the season. And um, if it doesn't really perform, then... You can get a new keeper, but Ronaldo plays it through to Zalewski. And Zalewski now to make it 1-0. Oh, it's... Ah, that's just the... inexperienced yeah, Zalewski there in that position. Messi, from range, not an inexperienced player from that position. Going inside to to um, Kumbula. We've let uh, Chris Smalling go to Newcastle. Pellegrini, good work there. Pellegrini got the ring to hit one. Pellegrini's strike was unorthodox, and it almost worked out. Don't really know why I haven't scored there, but we can go again. That's a side, surely. Okay, thank God he missed. I was going to say, if he scored there, then that would have been one of the weirdest goals I've ever conceded because Mancini could have got the ball there so easily. Oh, no. A man who ain't going to miss probably is killing Mbappe. Mbappe would have fouled him there technically, but it's not been given. Fortunately for us, the fake stage of the box here to Fabian who hits it. And I thought we had it blocked. I thought we could block it. I thought we had a perfect block on that one. I need to see where the shot goes because if it ain't up corners, it's a poor guy to concede. Oh, it's poor. It's poor. Part of the baller. Instantly reply for us. Pellegrini. Pellegrini. That's a Pellegrini from Dabala. Pellegrini hits it. Don't know made a nice fellow Italian though. Dabala now from the corner. It's got Abraham, Ronaldo, and Dika and everyone in there to aim for. Doesn't find anyone. Probably should put Messi on them, to be fair. Oh, come on, man. Open yourself up for that. Ronaldo now. The bend one. And that's him. I've gone in. I'll take it. I already did not expect that goal to go in, but we shall take it. Ronaldo scores. And what a side it is. Dybala, Messi and Ronaldo and Pellegrini all celebrating together there. But I already didn't expect the shot to go in. What do you mean no real power? This is a shot filled with power. Donnarumma, not sure what he's doing there. I mean, it's raining, so it might have rained in his eyes, but there's not really much to save him there because he should be saving that. Oh no. Harry Kane now through to Mbappe. Mesley needs to make a big save, and of course it doesn't because Mbappe is on the ball. 
Most players your keeper saves that, but when it's Mbappe, any keeper doesn't save it. Don't know why, it just is where it is. Mbappe scores to make it 2 1. And I stand by what I said, we've been the better team. Usually, keeper you know, leans to the left and goes on the floor to save it, but when it's Mbappe on the ball, your keeper does this. And with stuff like that as well. There's no way Mbappe should. Okay, what is going on? If they score here, I wish you should have stopped them three times. Oh, Metalik will save. Akimi now. And Dika, there we go. Balanat to Tammy Abraham. And Abraham just runs straight into Danilo. For whatever reason. And how, what is going on with my defensive line? Hurricane shot blocked. But Dybala. Abraham. You've got the pace. And you've got the capabilities to finish that. There we go. Tammy Abraham makes it 2 2. Assisted by Pali Dybala. Abraham makes it 2 2. A big save from Mese at one end. And then play the ball around for a little bit, getting, uh, getting the possession well, under half spell. And then we got the other end of the score. It's a good finish as well from Abraham. A very good finish. And this just so much time to line it up. And then they just go, oh, you told me to pass the ball. Great challenge there, though, from Mancini. Lovely challenge. And great work there from Abraham. Dybala. Into Zalewski. Polishman over to Ronaldo. Love to see it. Love to see it. I said, oh, here we go. Soon. The sight we saw last season. Zaleski linking up with Ronaldo. We're going to see a lot this season again, clearly. Them two together are just a team, uh, like a duo made in heaven. Zaleski's crossing capabilities into Ronaldo's heading capabilities or finishing capabilities just works. You see here, Zaleski does well. It's a great way to play as well all around. A great chipped cross. Would have been a penalty, but Ronaldo scores. And it makes it 3 2 to Roma here in the Super Cup final. Good reason to get that in play. Oh, hasn't that got past Polina? Oh, oh, no. Big challenge there and a big bit of defending there from Pellegrini. Ronaldo. Demi Abraham. Looking for Messi, Albert Nuno Menge. Denies his Pellegrini. Big challenge once again. Oh, here goes Leo Messi. Lionel Messi. Leo Messi. Gets inside Danilo Pereira. Messi. Leo Messi to bury it. Lionel Messi. He is the GOAT. Ronaldo scored twice. Ronaldo, uh, Messi scored once, sorry. And Messi with the best goal of the bunch, you got to say. A solo run, getting past Danilo Menz, getting past Danilo, and then finishing it. Things you have to see. Great bit of skill as well, shifting the body. And then a good finish after the ball roll. And makes it 4 2 Roma. And we finally have the lead in this game we deserve because we've been the better team throughout this whole game. I've only seen two impressive bits of defending there from Pellegrini back to back because that deserves to go into the episode. And well, he's been credited to the goal as well because, well, without him, perhaps we conceded. PSG on the attack. Harry Kane hits it from range and fair enough. Fair enough. Tense ending to this game. Two minutes Stop added on. Neymar fed it for it's killing Mbappe. Banyas got enough on that. I said whoever that was. One more goal. This might be the perfect One more goal just to seal it. Abraham. Ronaldo. Can Messi make the run? Ronaldo that back stick. Oh, it's off whoever that was. Shot taken. Saved by Donnarumma. But we win the game anyway. And we win the Super Cup. Beating the Champions League Champions PSG. 4-3 in the end which is a message sent to every other team in the Champions League. And if we can beat PSG, yes, we struggled at times, but Mbappe is Mbappe. That's what I'll be saying. Mbappe is Mbappe. It's just hard to stop in this game. He's got superpowers. But Ronaldo and Messi, Zaleski, and um, I forgot who scored the other goal. I completely forgot who it was. But Pellegrini gets to lift the title, or the championship, whatever you want to call it, the cup. And what a great way to start the season off with a win and a trophy. Things you'll have to see. Let's get into the start of this Serie A season and defend the Serie A Championship. Okay, so as you can see, the first game of the Serie A season was against Lecce. And since Lecce are a hard team for us to face, I just simmed it. And Dakar Zalewski 
and Bove scored a goal. Is it Bove? Is it Bove? I still don't know how to pronounce his name after so long. But they scored goals to win this game 3 1. Let's get into our first game of the uh, Sierra season that we actually are going to play against Atalanta, which will also be the final game of the episode. Because at the end of the episode, we're going to talk about a potential transfer if you guys feel like we need to do it. So let's get into the game against Atalanta. Okay, so as I mentioned, final game of the episode, we're going to take on Atalanta. We actually play the exact, uh, exact same formation as us with their formation, as we know. Now, Atalanta are a team that I have struggled against in the past, if I remember correctly. Uh, in this crowd, we had a game against them that actually was quite tough. If I, I'm not too sure, I've never played against Atalanta before in the past, they've been a challenge of other crowd modes. But um, I'm not sure if it was this one or the AC Milan one or the Juventus one. And if anyone wants to mention it, yes, for some reason, in every Italian crowd mode I do, I sign Messi. I don't know why, it's just I don't know, it's just two things that go together, in my opinion the Italian league and Messi. I don't know why we, we signed him in the Juventus one, we signed him in the AC Milan one. And we signed him in the Roma one. It just made sense to do it. It was a it was a pre contract signing. It was a free agent basically. And him and Ronaldo in a team together, you don't really get to do that too often in Chroma these days. So I thought, you know what? Let's have some fun for season two, which could be the final season. But I'm going to stop waffling here and get into the game against Atalanta, and hopefully we can end it with a win. And um, then we're going to talk about a potential transfer. Nikola Zalewski. Bala, Ronaldo, Tammy Abraham, third time the charm, yes it is, third time is the charm, and if it wasn't in the episode, Abraham has missed two uh, chances early in this game, he's hit the post and then uh, kept saved by the keeper, two chances he should have scored, he's been uh, stopped in scoring by either by the woodwork or the keeper, but this time round, he scores and makes it 1-0. PSG, it's denied by Scalavini there. Attacking play from Dybala this time. Dybala to Messi. And here he is. Here Messi to Messi. score. This time round, there, there we go. Is, the you can stop him once, Scalvini, but the second time round, you can't stop him. The Argentinians linking up there. And it makes it 2 0. Things you have to see. And um, one thing I will talk about right now, this season's probably going to be like three or four episodes long because I'm going to sim a bunch of games. Because obviously, we've won the Serie A, we've won the Coppa Italia, we've won the Europa League. All we really care about winning this season is the Champions League, so that's what we're going to, the majority we're going to be playing the games in. Obviously, some of the games in the Serie we are, we are going to still play, and we're going to play the final Coppa d'Italia. If we get down, I believe we are going to be in the Super Coppa as well uh, in January, so we will play that as well. But yeah, this episode, this season won't be too long because, well, last time I believe we went five or six episodes long. And I think it was five in the end. Which at this stage, we're in July, Chroma Series just needs to be a little bit quicker. Right up, and if you can see here, that is so stupid. I didn't even want to watch that back. I'm going to have to watch it back in editing, but I'm going to pretty much just probably just skip past it. And then Oski at the Boga and then Dika. So Oski now driving the ball forward into Dybala. Get it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ah, oh, that's just nice. That is just. There's no other way to describe that other than just perfect. Nice bit of footwork there from Ronaldo. Makes it 3-1. Could have squared it to Messi, but I thought, you know, what, we'll get Ronaldo a goal as well. And you see, nice bit of footwork there. Got to try and the defenders. And then just simple. Ronaldo's not going to miss him there. And he makes it 3-1. What's up there, though? Pellegrini, there we go. I mean, it's me on a Messi. Sometimes you don't have to say that much, you know what I mean? Sometimes what you have to say is, it's Lionel Messi. That's what you have to do. I don't know how I scored there. Scalvini's had a nightmare there. He's completely let Messi pass, thinking he's going to lay a pass off, but in the end he doesn't. And yeah, Messi, incredible strike, but poor defending. I think it's Scalvini anyway, who makes a mistake. And yeah, that strike... Looked unsavable, but you never know, and it's 4 1. Even some power over the top, though. 
Oh, there's causing us some issues in this game, but okay. Okay, he's gonna score here. Yep, knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Oh, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi just does Lionel Messi things. And if that went in, I would have asked questions of Kaneshi in the end. I would have asked questions if that went in. But I didn't really connect with that one either. Unfortunately for Kaneshi, he's saved. And Dika, good save. I meant Kaneshi there. Very good save. Probably not going to win the episode though, unless the score here. And Dika, second time round. Go to the line. And now whoever that is, header. Okay, we're going to score. So it's going to be in the episode. Ronaldo gets his second goal of the game. And whether it's Ariel's or soon well along the ground Ronaldo's gonna score let's be real and what a team we have by the way and uh, the transfer I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about it right here is Meslier in goal now I want to give him the opportunity to play for the whole season but there's a player oh two players actually we could sign at the end of the episode to um, give us a better chance at winning the Champions League due to being high rate goalkeepers but it's up to you guys if you want to sign in the goalkeeper let me know down below and obviously, uh, in a few minutes, we'll talk about those transfers once we finish this game. It's not soft, that is. Oh, yeah, it's just. I'm sorry to say it to any Atalanta fans, but it just is too easy. It is too easy. Atalanta, they ain't a challenge to me. And Ronaldo scored a scorpion kick. That's just. Oh, it deserved a sue. It deserved a sue. Oh, that's kind of that's not ruined it, but you know what I mean. Would have been nice of the sue at the end of that, but. You can see exactly what I was playing there to chip it over to Ronaldo and then try the scorpion kick and he scores it. What an incredible goal. And we're 6-2 up here. And I'm having a lot of fun right now, honestly. I'm having a lot of fun. That's oh, lovely football. It just is lovely liquid. This is football heritage. And this is football heritage. It's like who I'm doing right now is football heritage. That is football at its best. And I'm not sure what the crowd is dead. To be fair, it is Atalanta away. So Atalanta's crowds will be absolutely dead at this point. A pass is meant for the ball, to be fair. But it went to Abraham. I got very fortunate there that whoever that was didn't actually land in the way of that shot. As you can see there. But it's another goal. And it's 7 2. Oh, Pellegrini. Stop, stop it. Ronaldo. It's about to there by the defender, but Messi. Lionel Messi. Oh, Abraham, why not? Kind of annoyed Messi didn't score there, but Abraham scores, I guess. And. You know what, I'm, I'm going to sit in the rest of this game, we've won it ages ago, I just, I just want to have a bit of fun for the rest of the episode to be fair, and try to score as many as possible, and try to score some nice goals, which we have done, we're going to make it, well let's see what the result is in a second, let's see, so it's 8-2 at the moment, 85th minute, at the end of the game it's 8-2 still, let's get into the possible transfer targets uh, next episode. Okay, and the two goalkeeping options we do have, I shall see here on David De Gea, which we, we can't buy as it's apparently too important to the club. I swear they have Onana. Let me actually, let's have a look real quick at Man United's goalkeeping situation. Because if they don't have more than one goalkeeper, then I should be able to buy David De Gea from them. I've seen Real Life he is a free agent, but I made this chromo before that was actually finalised. So in the actual squad I have for our next chromo, he is a free agent. But in terms of goalkeepers, they, they only have David De Gea. What's happened to United's goalkeeping situation? They had Heaton, Butland, uh, who else? Um, Dean Henderson would have came back from his loan, but apparently not. But yeah, so we can't get David De Gea, so he's out of the list already. So the only goalkeeping option we do have is Diogo Costa, the Portuguese shot stopper from Porto. 
And I think this is a transfer we should actually make. I, I do want I do want Mesley to be you know, we gave Mesley his season. He won what four trophies. He did great, you know what I mean? But Costa would just be next level, you know what I mean? And they can't rotate really when we need them to, you know what I mean? If Costa gets injured, we've got Mesley back up and vice versa, whatever, you know what I mean? And um it would only cost us 50 million pretty much, so this transfer, I feel like we should make it, because we've got 50 mil, we can easily buy him. But yeah, we've got 90 million left in the budget, so we could buy a high-rate goalkeeper, but I feel like Costa would be great, considering we had uh, Rui Patrizio as a goalkeeper, obviously at one point at Roma. It would be great to bring in the next great Portuguese shot stopper, which is Diogo Costa, the man who's currently, I believe, is the first team shot stopper of Portugal, if I'm not mistaken, he should be anyway. So if he isn't, I'm not sure what's happened there, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Should I buy Costa and um, have Mesley as a backup goalkeeper? Or do we keep Mesley in the first team position? I'm not saying Costa, but I feel like the consensus of the comments will be that we buy Costa. And if you don't know what consensus means, it's a long word and kind of a very technical word. Sorry you for using it. I should keep it simple when I'm doing this. But um, yeah, it basically means that just the overall thought. And I'm losing my voice, as you can tell. It's kind of gone a bit raspy towards the end of the episode because I've had a lot of fun. This episode of recording this, but I'm going to stop waffling now. And uh, Diego Costa, yes or no, 50 million. Did we buy him and have him as a first team shot stopper? Obviously, Meslier is 82 rated, it's going to take 18 weeks to go to 83 rated, and Costa joins at 84 rated, it won't take that long to go to 85 rated. But in terms of the episode so far, we have been absolutely rampant in front of goals. Ronaldo's got 5 and 1, Abraham 4 and 1, Messi 3 and 1, Tedeschi with 1 and 1, Bove has even got one himself, Daka's got one obviously as well. Yeah, let me know if we sign Costa, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications so you don't miss any videos, and check out the other content on the channel. Check out our past promos we've done on this channel as well if you're interested in those. And I'm also doing a stream ultimate, ultimate Team Series, so if you're interested in that, come on to the streams over here on YouTube and watch those live. And I'll see you guys in the next stream or next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.